In Eve Echoes, it's not uncommon when these events go live with these fancy new skins that we have to buy, for us to come across skins that we really really might want to fit to our ships. These skins might tend to be a little bit too expensive though, if we were to actually want to fit them to the ships that we fly. If I bring up an example at the moment, the Atron 2 Interceptor at the moment for the current event skin has a cost of 800 million ISK in order to fit because of course that's how much people are trading it for on the market in game. If we have another look at another popular ship for example, let's scroll down and have a look at the Arbitrator 3 Covert Ops and have a look at the cost of that skin as, as it sells on the market. That's 1.75 billion isk. What if I told you that if your ship had a nano core, you could fit these skins for a lot cheaper? That's the purpose of today's video. You can fit these skins for a lot cheaper than it says. So let's start with my example. I'm currently flying an Atron 2 Interceptor. That's what I use to haul stuff around the game completely AFK. See the AFK traveling video if you want to know more about that. So of course, that's what I'm using at the moment. It costs 800 million isk for me to fit that with this cool event skin that we've got currently live. But if I scroll down through this event box, which I'm using as a quick reference as it were to, at the moment to find all of these, you'll notice 300 million isk right here for a skin for a different Atron hull. Yes, it is a different one. It is the basic Atron, but it's less than half the price. There's a 500 million isk saving if I buy this one over the previous one. Now, of course, some of you will be uh, paying attention here and you'll be like, but hold on, Hale, that's a different ship. You're flying the Atron 2 Interceptor and you're looking at buying the Atron, just the regular Atron skin. It's not going to work, obviously. And uh, I'm not looking at buying it. I have already bought it earlier this week in preparation for this video. So what I'm going to do is show you how exactly I'm going to fit this to my Atron 2 Interceptor. And it involves a little bit of moving things around as it were. It's kind of hard to explain in text. But first and foremost, let's click activate on this skin for this regular Atron. Now, of course, I need to worry about Discord announcements popping up on screen during recordings, of course. First and foremost, let's show you the ship that I'm flying. I currently have the Atron 2 Interceptor, nice and gold, a little bit of orange. This is actually, I can't remember what core it is. It might be Ascension. Anyway, uh, let's move along, shall we? So, of course, as you can see, I've got a purple nano core fitted at the moment, and it is indeed the Atron 2 Interceptor. So, first things first, I need to remove my nano core because I'm not actually going to be using this ship at first in order to pick up the skin that I want. So if I move up to the top and hit disassemble, I no longer have the skin equipped to my ship. It is now just completely naked, as it were. The next job, of course, is to change ships, because you'll notice that the skin I have just activated is for the regular Atron. It's not for my Atron 2 Interceptor. So I need to go on the market right now. I had thought that I'd already bought one, but apparently I haven't. So let's go on the market and buy ourselves just a regular Atron, not this Atron 2. Let's make sure I actually buy the right ship that I'm after. I can even, is it under basic frigates? I really don't know where to find things, by the way, guys. Here we go. Here is the basic Atron and I'll buy one for 5,000 isk. Very big investment for this video, I shall assure you. So here we are. We have a basic Atron. I'm going to set that as active now. And this is where we wait for the game to load. This is a joy of recording on a Google Pixel 2. It's only so fast. Now I'm going into the fitting screen. And as you can see, I've got the skin active already. Or I'm going to be overwriting it. I'm going to be fitting my existing nano core for the Atron 2 Interceptor. So there we go. That's that fitted. But we need our appearance customizing, don't we? Click now. 
It is worth noting, this bit that I'm about to do, if you're using a fresh new nano core, you don't have to spend what I'm about to spend. You can start from scratch. If you're using the existing nano core, you're going to have to do exactly what I'm doing right here. So if we go into the nano core in via the fitting screen, we tap on appearance here on the right hand side. We can see that at the very bottom we have start refactoring. So what I'm going to do is change up a few things to how exactly I want it. So I know that what I want to do is start refactoring. Now you'll notice when I clicked start refactoring it's using up a consumable item at the very very bottom. This is one of those uh, recolouring devices. Can't remember the exact name of them but as you can see right now what I am doing is I'm just changing one of the colours to orange because that is one of my favourite colours and every ship has to have some kind of orange on it even if it doesn't go well. So I'll click save and return and you'll notice I have 40 of these and it's going to cost me one. I'll select complete custom. Are you sure you want to complete com refactoring? Yes I am. So now we have a ever so slightly customised skin for the Atron on top of the nano core that was fitted to the Atron 2 interceptor. So next up, what we are going to do is unfit that nano core, which of course is going to take a minute because this is not the most well optimised part of the game when it comes to performance. So there we go, I have unloaded my nano core. You'll notice that it no longer has that orange tint to it on those particular areas. We'll move on to the Atron 2 Interceptor that I really want to have looking nice now. And I will be ever so tempted to uh, remove this skin off of the nano core in the near future because it kind of hurts my eyes to look at but it would be a good example. So I've selected my Interceptor, gone into the fitting screen, back in to select the nano core and I'm just going to fit it. And we are done. As you can see now the Atron 2 Interceptor has the new AI nano core skin on it for less than half the price of its current price on the market. So you can do this with any ship in the game that has multiple variants. So if you have a nano core that covers say the Arbitrator, the Arbitrator 2, the Arbitrator Cover Tops, so on and so on. The skin on the most basic Arbitrator can be pulled all the way up to the Arbitrator 3 Cover Tops. As you've seen, the skin on the most basic Atron can be pulled all the way up to the most up-to-date Atron 2 Interceptor. So you can apply this anywhere in the game. If you've got a random skin for a useless tech-free ship, have a look at its higher level variants and see, can I pull across a skin with it? It's worth a try. And you can do this with not just the purple nano cores either, you can do this with the much cheaper blue and green nano cores. Nearly forgot the word green there. I'd, I'd better end this video before I uh, start forgetting more words then I guess. So yeah, did you find this video helpful? If you did, then feel free to go and join Achieved's nano core competitions now that you know how to get much cheaper good skins to add to your nano cores. And of course hit that subscribe button, I'm sure it's popped up on screen enough times by now. Uh, thanks again for listening and see you guys in the next video.